Hello there, this is Jeremy Myers from RedeemingGod.com. I have a podcast and about 10 or 11, 12 books at this point, several various courses, um, and a blog, of course, probably like a lot of you. What I'm going to do in this sort of recorded, pre-recorded webinar is teach you how to run AMS ads. This is Amazon Marketing Services Ads. And uh, this is primarily for authors like myself who have published some books and want to get their books into the hands of more readers. Uh, obviously, if you write a book, you want people to read it, right? So uh, I started doing this about maybe a year ago or so. Here's my Amazon author page. Let me just go over and we're going to check my author rank. Okay, so currently I'm sitting at 23,189. That is out of all authors on Amazon. Just look at the religion and spirituality. Uh, this is all authors on Amazon in the religion and spirituality category. So this, this is of all religions and all authors. So just under 1,500 there. Okay. Um, now... I don't know really if that's good or bad. I, uh, if you're an author, I'm not sure where you might be sitting. Uh, let's just, but I want to show you what happened here when I started. Let's just go all available here. When I started advertising. So I published my first book back in 2012 and obviously hung out around 300,000 for a while. Then you see here this jump is because I started publishing a series of books. I started a, a book on. Um, church and i wrote uh what was it six books on this series about church starting off with skeleton church and then the death and resurrection of the church and so on so every time i wasn't doing any advertising in here so some of these jumps like here you can sort of see in there there's a jump i imagine this is because i published another book it was all the way through uh, this book here or this big jump here is because i published a book called the atonement of god and then this other jump here is because I published a book called Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. That was last year. And um, so one thing this shows, by the way, is that it helps to, after you publish a book, one thing that helps is publish another book. Okay, so uh, some people do uh, find that it's helpful to just write one book and then market it and focus all their time and energy on that. That's one way of approaching it. The other way is sort of my approach is to write and publish lots of books. Now, um, I imagine this would have continued, and it is, in fact. I've, I've recently published another book since then on prayer called What is Prayer? Uh, but right around here sometime, last year, this was uh, about April 17th, 2017, I started to dip my toes into advertising. Um, primarily through Amazon Marketing Services. There's other ways you can advertise as well, like BookBub and Facebook and Twitter and Google AdWords, all sorts of things. Uh, but the easiest way and the cheapest way to get started is with AMS, Amazon Marketing Services. And the reason for that is because when people are on Amazon, what do they have in mind? Buying, all right? They want to buy. Uh, if this person's on Facebook, think about it. Do you ever go to Facebook thinking, I'm going to go buy something today? No, you don't. And so you might hear about a lot of authors and other people who talk about Facebook advertising. And while it can be effective if done right, it also can be very, very, very expensive. I have tried it off and on for the last year. And I estimate that at this point I have lost a total of about $1,000 on Facebook advertising. So... Uh, I have not been able to get it to work, and I am right now focusing all my time and attention on Amazon Marketing Services. So I would recommend you start here if you're just thinking about it. And so you can see that uh, now, today, you know, 23189 All right. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to see anything else here. Let's go look at my Kindle Direct Publishing sales. So uh, this is my sales for the last couple months it looks like as of April and uh, this jump here is partly because I have published a new book called Adventures in Fishing for Men it's a satire on evangelism Christian evangelism and so there was a bit of a, a bump there as well actually it was more of a republished it was a book that's been out for several years 
uh, but I republished it, added a bunch of content. Anyway, uh, you can sort of see here my ongoing sales, but actually what we want to see here is my historical. All right, so this is, you know, all time, and, and you can see I had hardly any sales. Uh, right about, what did I say? It was in March or April that I started advertising, just dipping my toe into it. And you can see that is where this bump happens here, okay? So, and then as in, in March, this is when I published Nothing But the Blood of Jesus, which is why there is a bump there of, uh, I take that back. Um, that was last year, right around here as well. But uh, I really started diving more into advertising in the last several months. Okay, so you can just sort of see. And then actually this, this deep drop off here, I was just trying to see. Nobody likes to spend money on advertising. So I was trying to see if I wanted to know, is it the advertising that is bringing in income or is it because I am becoming you know, a more popular author? Maybe people are finding my books and they're just going and reading more books. So what I did in April is I turned off all my advertising or most of it anyway. And you can see the big drop off in sales. So that was uh, April and there's May. It's uh, last month. In fact, uh, June, I had most of it off as well. And I pretty much just turned it back on in the last two or three weeks. And I'm already seeing a huge uh, return to sales. Uh, in fact, let's just go look here. We're going to go, let's see, let's do the last 30 days. All right, so you can sort of see here, I turned off, I turned my advertising back on right here in June 22nd, somewhere around here, and uh, you, can sort of, you can sort of see the sales. Now, today's July the 4th, so not many people are buying books today, um, but I did sell 20-some copies yesterday. Anyway, um, so I, I expect that tomorrow some of these sales will, will bump back up as well. Okay, now, so I, I, again, I attribute all of this, let's go look at last 90 days. All right, so I was doing advertising some in here. I turned it off and uh, now, or mostly off, and now it's back on. You can see my sales are about doubling. Okay, so I want to show you how you can do this yourself uh, if you have some books. All right, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to sort of talk you through some of the things you need to know. Oh, you might want to say, well, how much does it cost, Jeremy? Um, Right now, I'm spending, you ready, about $500 a month on advertising through Amazon Marketing Services. And how much am I making from that? About $1,000 a month. All right, so obviously that, not all of that is pure profit. I have about a 100% return there. So if I spend $500 and I make $1,000, then that is... $500 profit I am making off of that advertising. All right, so it's 100% ROI, return on investment. And the one problem I have with Amazon Marketing Services is it's very difficult to scale. Obviously, if I'm making 100% ROI, return on investment, I would love to spend $10,000 a month and make, you know, sell $20,000 in books, right? Uh, so my one complaint with Amazon Marketing Services is that it's difficult to scale it up. It's difficult for me to get them to spend more money. Uh, and making, making that much of a return, I would love to spend as, mac as much as I possibly could, but they just, for whatever reason, Amazon just won't do it. All right, but I am scaling it up slowly. It is increasing slowly. So um, that is my one complaint with Amazon Marketing Services. But the good thing is if you're just starting out in advertising, then that is good. You might only want to spend $20, you know, $30, $40 a month. And uh, that, in that case, uh, you know, $50, something like that. And that's how I started. I started off spending as little as I could because I wanted to see if it worked. And then I scaled it up over time. And obviously, I didn't have a whole lot of money at the beginning either. So I reinvest it. Uh, if if I can, I turn, uh, I, whenever I get the profit, I try to just roll it right back into more advertising. All right. So that's how I'm up to $500 a month right now. You might not have that. That's fine. Start off with what you have, you know, $50 a month or something, a couple bucks a day. And then as you get profit, you can turn around and reinvest, reinvest that into more advertising. All right. So what I'm going to do is sort of show you some of the tools I use and how you can do this yourself for your own books. All right, so I use Amazon Marketing Services, and uh, let me just actually pull up something here. 
Before we really go through some of this, there are some abbreviations that you need to know. I'm going to get tired of talking about uh, some of these. I will just be saying the abbreviations rather than telling you what they mean. So one of them is KDP. This means Kindle Direct Publishing. All right, this is where you self-publish your books on Amazon. I should say that if you are traditionally published, you still can use Amazon Marketing Services to advertise your books. But depending on how much royalty your publisher is paying you, it might be very, very difficult for you to make a profit in advertising. All right, I self-publish for this very reason, because I get 70% royalty on my books. All right, most traditionally published authors, again, I don't know what it is. I actually have turned down in the last couple of years some offers from publishers to publish my books with them because their royalty payment was so low to me. And then they still wanted me to do a lot of the marketing of the books myself. And I'm thinking, why would I do the marketing for you to sell my books so that you can pay me a fraction of what I can get myself if I publish my books? All right, so I, I choose to self-publish. I have turned down several traditionally published uh, offers. I might take one in the future if the offer is right for me. And I, I feel like it might help expand my audience or something like that. Um, but I know for a fact that if I did that, I'll probably be losing money. So there would have to be other reasons for me to do it. Anyway, um, if you are traditionally published and your, your publisher is only paying you a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars per book, uh, marketing is going to be very difficult for you. I get 70% royalty. So even on a $2.99 uh, book, ebook, all right, I'm making like $2 off of that. Uh, if I if I raise that to $3.99 or $4.99 or something, right, then I'm making $3 or $3.50, something like that, okay? So I just have that extra margin there that allows me. Anyway, I use Kindle Direct Publishing. That is what um, you can do as well. You do not need a Kindle Direct Publishing account in order to do advertising. All right, so let's move on. AMS, Amazon Marketing Services. This is where you advertise on Amazon, all right? And I will be showing you how to create an account there. All right, this is something else I will talk about in just a minute. ACOS, okay? ACOS, it means average cost of sale. This is what Amazon Marketing Services is going to report to you. And you sort of need to know your royalty rate in order for this to be helpful to you. Again, I told you my royalty rate is 70%. So I'll be showing you why that is important, why that is necessary when we go look at ACOS the average cost of sale. This is what helps you determine whether your ads are effective or, or not. And ROI, return on investment, all right? If your ads are effective, then you are getting a positive ROI. You are profiting from your ads, all right? So those are some abbreviations you do need to know. Uh, there might be way, there might be reasons. In fact, I'll show you a few in the next screen here of some ads where I am getting a negative ROI. I am losing money on them, but I let them continue to run, and there are reasons for that. Okay, so with those abbreviations in mind, um, let's go look at my Amazon Marketing Services screen here, and I'm just going to show you some of what is running here to get rid of that all right so you see here i have several ads running quite a few here i've got 52 ads that are currently running and um you might look here look at this i have a daily budget set for most of them at 100 dollars <laughs> um I, I wish amazon would spend that for me but they will not and they do not for some reason so you see this ad on prayer has been running since 626. So just about a week now. And even though I have a daily budget set of $100, it has spent a grand total of $7.97. Okay. And so um, I'm getting an average cost per click of 15 cents on this. And okay, so here's the A cost. So here's what's happening. I set this up on 626. I set a daily budget of $100. So far, I've received 14,711 impressions on that. I'm going to talk about that more in just a minute. 
Of those, from those 14,000 impressions, 54 people have clicked on it at 15 cents a click, costing me, charging me $7.97. All right. And Amazon has said that from those clicks, I've sold roughly estimated $30 of books, worth of books. Okay. And now I am getting, which is an average cost of sale of 26.59%. All right, so you sort of have to look at these numbers and just sort of analyze them a little bit. So, what, and, and, you know, they look at this spend uh, versus sales and, and come up with the ACOS. Now, my, here's where the, um, the royalty rate is important. My royalty rate is 70%. So as long as my ACOS is below 70%, I am making a positive return on investment, ROI. As soon as my royalty, my ACOS goes above 70%, that means I'm losing money on that ad. Okay? So, um, and, and there's some, let's just go down and find one where this is happening. Okay, here we go. Look at this one. Here I am running an ad on my book, Skeleton Church. I have, again, $100 set on that. And it's giving me 160,000 impressions so far. I'm getting 8 cent clicks on that, which is really low. But, uh, and that's charged me $11 so far, even though it's been running since, look at that, March of this year. I've only been charged $11 total since then, <laughs> even though I'm in $100. Anyway, uh, and I've only sold, it looks like, one paperback probably, or maybe that's two ebooks. I'm not quite sure. So I spent 11 and I've sold two books, one or two books, and here's my average cost of sale, or, or my, my ACOS, all right? Um, right? Yep. Where did that? So I'm at 110%. So I have lost money on that. All right. I have a 70% royalty rate. So that means on this $10, I made $7 of, of, of royalty of profit, uh, but it cost me $11. So I lost $4 on this ad so far. That's not a big deal. You and I spend that. Well, I don't, I get my coffee from Costco, but lots of people go and, you know, get a Starbucks coffee. That's one coffee. And that's since March. So why am I allowing this ad to continue to run even though I'm losing money on it? Well, first, it's only $4 since March that I've lost. Not a big deal. But here's the real reason why. Check this out. Since March, this ad on my book, Skeleton Church, has been seen by people nearly 160,000 times. Look at this one down beneath it, 240,000 times. Look at this one down here, nothing but the blood of Jesus, nearly a million times that book has been seen. And that one's giving me a good uh, return, by the way. I've spent $324 in ads on that since February and sold nearly $1,000 in books with an ACOS of just under 37%. Okay, but I'm willing to let this ad run even though I'm losing money because for $4 in the last three months, four months, it's been seen 160,000 times. It's, it's raising awareness to people of my books. Now, probably there's a, a problem with the landing page. It's not converting well. So really, I should go to the Amazon page of a Skeleton Church and find out if I can tweak something. Maybe I need a better book cover. Maybe I need a better blur book description. Maybe I need some more reviews. All right, that will help that book convert a little better because that there is something I could probably do to fix the landing page, the product page for Skeleton Church, and therefore make this a more profitable ad. But regardless, I'm going to let it run because I li I'm willing to pay $4, <laughs> lose $4 to have that book show up to 160,000 people. All right, so that would be a reason that it would be okay to have a negative ROI, if you're willing to do that. All right, it's raising awareness about your books. Okay, so that's just sort of, well, I'm going to dive into here a little bit more in just a bit, show you how to set up these ads. You see here some, three have been rejected recently. I will explain why they have been rejected in a little bit. Now, um, let me go back. There are some tools you are going to need to do this. These are required tools for you to do Amazon marketing services. First of all, you are going to need an Amazon account. Almost everybody these days has an Amazon account. You absolutely need one. You cannot do this without an Amazon account. 
Obviously, your Amazon account is going to have to have a credit card attached to it so that they can bill you for the ads. Okay, you are also going to need an Amazon Marketing Services account. All right, obviously, if you want to create ads, you need to have an account through Amazon Marketing Services. I will show you how to set one up. Now, I said earlier you do not need to be in Kindle Direct Publishing. You don't. That's true. Um, now, if you have a Kindle Direct Publishing account, it is very easy to set up an Amazon Marketing Services account through KDP. It can be done, and it's a very simple, easy, quick process. I recommend you not do that, though. I will explain why to you in a little bit. The best way to set up an Amazon Marketing Services account is through Amazon Advantage. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. Uh, it's free to create. And I will show you how to do that as well and why it is best to create your Amazon Marketing Services account through Amazon Advantage rather than through KDP. All right. So um, those are your two required accounts. All right. Now there's some optional tools as well. These are highly recommended, but they are optional. They are not required all right you do need amazon account and the ams account you do not need these two tools that i'm going to show you but i use them and they have saved me loads of time so i highly recommend them the first is a tool called kdp rocket let me just go show you what this looks like here is kdp rocket it's a piece of software and um, that I find extremely helpful because look over here, one of the options in here is the AMS keyword search. I'll show you how you can find your own keywords without KDP Rocket, but it's going to take you hours and hours of time. Whereas with KDP Rocket, I can do it in about 10 minutes, all right, or less. It's very, very fast, and I highly recommend this tool. It is $97, so it's not free. And according to the website, they are soon going to a subscription model. Right now, you pay $97 and you have it forever. All right, no further ongoing fees, which is a screaming deal. And that's how I got it, $97. I don't know what they will be charging if and when they go to a subscription, a monthly subscription price. You know, $9, $10, $15, $20. $15, I don't know what it will be. Right now, it's $97, one-time fee. Buy it once, own it forever. And um, I am an affiliate for them. If, if you are enjoying this lesson on advertising and are thinking of doing this yourself and want to sort of say thank you to me for this instruction i would highly i would really like it if you would use my affiliate link just go to redeeminggod.com slash kdp rocket and that sort of will help me it doesn't charge you anything extra but uh, they will give me a couple bucks just for referring you to them all right it'll still be 97 dollars for you but then the the makers of kdp rocket will say hey jeremy thank you for sending someone our way. So this is the tool. I, I don't think, honestly, if you want to, if you want to save time on this, I don't really think you can do AMS ads without KDP Rocket. So just go ahead and get it. $97 one-time fee, get it before it goes up. Okay. The other tool, which is slightly more optional and also more expensive, which I use, but again, I, you can use this. It, it helps me figure out my return on investment, but, um, it's not as required as KDP Rocket. Basically, AMS ads, uh, their reporting system is horrible. Okay, it is a nightmare. So it's very difficult for you to try to figure out month to month whether you're actually making money or not. And I used to use this super complex, difficult Excel spreadsheet, and I'd have to insert the numbers every day or every week or every month. And it, each time it takes me about an hour. It was a nightmare. So Reader Links came along and they said, let us fix this problem. And they have, it's a super fast way. Now it takes me about two minutes a day just to update it and uh, see where I'm at on my ads. This is a little pricey though, $19.99 a month, $20 a month. And again, if you want to use this tool, but let me just, I have it up here. Let me just go show you. Uh, here it is. Okay, so this is Reader Links. See, in the last 60 days, it, uh, it tells me, in fact, let me just show you how easy this is. I'm going to go over here to Kindle Direct Publishing, go to my bookshelf, and watch this. 
I'm going to press the reader links. It has this nice little tool. I'm going to press the reader links button here, and it says, okay, reader links. It's collecting my Amazon KDP sales data. Please wait. There it is. It's done. And it says, if you leave this open, we'll do it again in 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, that's fine for me. See how quickly that was? It used to be I'd have to report this and put it in, in Excel. Okay, so I can go. Let's just see if I sold any in the last hour or two. I'm going to refresh this page. It was 1550 Look at that. Uh, so I did sell. It looks like one or two books. I'm not quite sure. It's now 15 52 It's probably one book there, so I got an extra $2.60 in the last. Uh, it was probably about half an hour that this screen was there, and uh, now it's been updated. All right, here's some of my books that I was mentioning to you. This is in the last 60 days, sales. You might say, this book isn't yours, Jeremy. That's from Dr. Earl Rodmacher. Yes, that's true. And um, I've been advertising his books as well some, so that's why his books are in here. Also, I published two of his books through a publishing company that I own, uh, redeemingpress.com. Uh, we're not currently taking submissions. Sorry about that. Okay, um, da, 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 da. so look at this though. In the last 60 days, I have spent, you see here, $745 on ads. And I have earned, now this is real earnings, royalty earnings, uh, earned $1,552.60 with an ROI of $807, which is a return of 108%. All right, I will do that all day long, all year long. I will throw as much money at this with that sort of return as I can. The problem is getting Amazon to spend. And they have some really nice charts and other things that shows you, um, you know, a whole bunch of things. I'm not going to try to go through all this because this is not a reader links tutorial. It shows you what books is selling most. It shows you where in the world these are selling. So mostly in the United States, but I have a lot of readers in the UK and some in Canada as well and and so on just a lot of really helpful tools here but anyway that's reader links and um, it, it has saved me a lot of time it is a little more pricey but as you start making money from royalties it might be something that you want to consider all right so let's see where are we now let's go back here so that was a KDP rocket and reader links again there's the link if you would like to uh, buy, you know, subscribe, become a member of Reader Links, then uh, there would be the, the link that you could visit. Please, redeeminggod.com slash Reader Links. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we want to do now is get you started. All right, um, and obviously for this, you hopefully already have an Amazon account, so you need an AMS account. Again, you can go through KDP, but don't do that. Let me show you why. Let me just pull it up here. Let me go over to, uh, here we go. Okay. Let me show you why real quickly. I, I have an account of each. I'm gonna go over to my other one here. We're gonna go to Jeremy's account. Okay, this one I created through Kindle Direct Publishing. You see up here, it even says, Return to Kindle Direct Publishing. That tells you this is a KDP AMS account. All right? <laughs> and you see, I've, I've terminated most of the ads that were running in here. Um, but uh, some of them were quite effective. I have a book on book publishing, how to help you publish your book, self-publish your book. It's called Book Publishing Instructions. It's available. I had a very effective ad there. Um, 1.5 million impressions, spent $724, earned 1,000 at an ACOS of 70%. So it was barely making money. I did sell a lot of books, but I probably overall lost money, a little bit of money on that. So I ended up terminating it, even though it got me 1.5 million impressions. The reason I terminated it is I'm not really known as the guy to help you publish your books. Okay, I want to be known for my theology books and my Bible study books and things like that. So I ended up terminating it for that reason. It was bringing in money, but not enough for me to justify keeping it going. This one I still do have running, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Look, I only, when, this was this been running for a while, since September. I was only doing $5 a day on that. But uh, in that time, it still only spent $16. But look at the sales on that, 200 bucks at an ACOS of only 8%. Pretty good, I will do that all day long also. I'm making mega, mock, mega bucks on that one. 
um, on that sale. It's costing me nothing, and, and I, I've generated a lot of sales. So I'm letting that one continue to run. All right, and here's some of the ads I was running for Rodmacher, Earl Rodmacher. He passed away uh, two years ago, so I send the royalty payments to his wife for those. Okay, um, but <laughs> the whole point of coming over here was to show you why you should not create an AMS account through KDP. The reason is because of the reporting. You see these buttons right here and the links up here? There's nothing. In fact, the only way to download your reports here is this button right here. And when you click it, it downloads. Let me just pull this up. I think it's going to pull up. There we go. Yeah, I haven't run a whole lot of ads, but look at this, this mess. I've only run uh, 13 ads there. Um, but it only gives me, it only has the option of, of total sales since the beginning of me running ads. All right, now let's go over. By the way, if you end up creating both types of accounts, here's how you get back and forth between them. You have to scroll down. I have no idea why. It's a little workaround I discovered. You have to scroll down and click the conditions of use. And then I have the option up here to go to the one I want. Redeeming press is the one I want. Now look at the difference over here. I have a whole lot of other options. First, I can do bulk operations. I can get better advertising reports. I have a campaign manager here. None of those are in the KDP account. Best of all though, over here is options in what types of reports. Yes, I can do lifetime, uh, like in the other account if I wanted to, uh, <laughs> but that's not so helpful if you've been running your ads for six or seven months, right? You wanna know how have the ads been doing this last month so I can customize it. I can do months to date, last week, week to date, yesterday, all these options and then download that specific ad, okay? That is so helpful when you're trying to figure out whether your ads are effective. So, so just do it the right way from the beginning. Set up an AMS account through Amazon Advantage. And let me show you how to do that real quickly. All right, so the first thing is you need to join Amazon Advantage. And to do that, just go to advantage.amazon.com, all right, and sign in to Advantage. Uh, oh, you know what? Um, I wonder if I put that here in the notes here. In a browser in which you are not logged in to Amazon in any way. All right, so this is key here. Um, all right, so after you join Amazon Advantage, if you try to create an AMS account, it's really going to mess you up unless you do this, this second step here. Very, very important. Honestly, Amazon is trying to push people into AMS through KDP. Again, I'm not trying to get, confuse you, but just save yourself some time and headache and hassle. Very important here. After you join Amazon Advantage, now you open uh, a browser in which you are not logged in. So I usually use Google Chrome. This is Internet Explorer here. And so when I go to AMS, all right, so I have not created a separate uh, Amazon Advantage. By the way, you're going to sign in here. It, it's, it, there's going to be a delay. They're going to have to review your application. I hope you get in. It is possible that your application to join Amazon Advantage might get rejected. If that's the case, you can try again, or you can just go through KDP, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing. But anyway, join Amazon Advantage if you can. Once you've done that, now you will Okay, very key here, open a browser. If you use Google Chrome, go to Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox or something that you are, where you are not logged into Amazon in any way, shape, or form. Because if you go to AMS, Amazon.com, on a browser that you are logged into, all right, it's going to mess things up. Anyway, go to AMS.Amazon.com in a browser. You are going to click Register or start advertising, either way, okay, and then it gives you this option. If you are logged into Amazon, it assumes that you want to go through KDP, and it doesn't even, this option does not even show up, all right, but you want to, now that you have an Amazon Advantage account, you would do that one. I have an Advantage Central login, and you would then go on to the next steps, okay, and that will create your special more powerful, more options, 
AMS account through Amazon Central, giving you all of those other options that I was just showing you. Okay, very important that you do that. And it will ask you how, this is what I just went through. Okay, join Amazon Advantage, open a browser, go to ams.amazon.com. It will ask you how you want to create your AMS account. Choose the Advantage Central Login option and off you go. Again, this process here may take a week or two as they review your accounts and, you know, check your application and all, all those things. And I hope, hopefully it works for you. Okay, it does not work for everybody. I sometimes wonder if it works for me because I am a publisher. Uh, redeeming press i have an llc um if you don't uh, but lots of people i know who don't have that stuff are also able to get in so just try it this way if it doesn't work you can go the kdp route you don't get the, all the options hopefully down the road they will add more of those options to the kdp accounts okay but not right now all right so where are we at now all right let's go uh da, 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 da. i don't think i need that anymore I showed you reader links. All right. So what we're going to do is go over. Let me just close out some of these windows that I don't. I don't think I need that anymore. Kindle Direct Publishing. I don't need that. Okay. We're going to show you how to create a campaign. Once you have an AMS account, this is how to start a new campaign. Now, regardless of the type of account you have, uh, you're going to click New Campaign. And once you have clicked new campaign, this is the screen that you will see. By the way, if you have a KDP AMS account, so if you created your AMS account through KDP, you will not have this middle option, the headline search ads. You will only have sponsored products and product display ads. Okay, so again, this is another option, another reason to get your AMS account through Amazon Advantage if you are able to. Now, I just want to show you real bl briefly, they show the pictures where these ads show up, but I want to show you for real on Amazon how they look. Okay, so a sponsored product, you can sort of see here, they show up sort of in the main area that people are browsing through to find a book or a product that they want to buy. So let's go over here. And just scroll down here. I searched on Amazon for why did Jesus die? And so we're going to go down here. By the way, this up here is, let's just show you this right now. This is sponsored by Tommy Nelson Books. This is the headline search ad. You see here it has a big image here, a description, and then three more images over there. So Tommy Nelson, Thomas Nelson, children's versions of Thomas Nelson, has set up uh, this ad for some of their books or for some of Sarah Young's books, it looks like. And um, so they're running these ads for her books. So you see the big, the big image, the little description, and then three other books. For this sort of ad, you need to have at least three books. You can have more, but you need at least three, okay? Because they have these three books. Or you can't do it with two or one, All right? Now, so that's the headline search. And let's go down and see if we can find a sponsored... Uh, what one is it? The sponsored product. All right, so scrolling down. There's one right there. Sponsored. See how it says sponsored? This person, John O'Neill, is running sponsored ads for his book. Or maybe the publisher is. All right, same thing here. Another sponsored ad. So we've seen two so far. As we scroll down, scroll down. Uh -huh. Oh, here's another one. Three, four. All right, so on this page, there are four. And um, the higher you pay, the more money you pay for your ad, the higher up your ad will appear. Okay. So uh, that we've seen is the headline search and the sponsored product. Let's just close that out. Oh, I clicked on one just to show you. I am running a product display ad and it shows up over here. So for the keyword, why did Jesus die? I have a product display ad. So there's mine. And you can sort of see here, has the book cover. This is the product display ad over here. You see it shows up over on the right hand sidebar underneath the add to cart area. Okay, it shows up right there. And um, I'm going to say something a little bit. In fact, I might, while I'm here, I might as well say something about it. <laughs> now that I show you I have an ad. Um, Technically, 
Amazon does not allow religious books to be uh, product display ads. Okay? If your book is religious in nature, the terms of service do not allow religious books to run product display ads. Nevertheless, I often try to get one through anyway because they are very effective. All right? So you see here, I did get one through. This was a long time ago, though. Now that I got it through, I'm never, ever, ever going to cancel it. And um, please, don't turn me into Amazon, because I don't want them to cancel it either. One of the things I did find, though, and you can try this yourself, is make your text. You're going to have to have some text in here that you enter. Uh, make it generic. All right, now, mine has the word Jesus on it. And even down here in the description, Jesus and sacrifice of Jesus so I'm a little surprised that whoever approved this let it through. But I think it's this, this main description here is probably all they saw. Human culture is founded on one thing. Oh, well, that sounds generic. It doesn't sound religious in nature. Maybe they were having a late day. Maybe they were tired. Maybe they were near the end of the shift and they just approved it. Anyway, I'm lucky to have that. And I encourage you to try it. But do not, do not expect. I, I probably have 1% of my product display ads get through. Okay. So uh, that, that is where product display ad appears. Okay. And um, let me go show you. So we've seen, we've seen that one. We've seen this one. We've seen this one. Although there are um, one other type of sponsored product ads. They don't show up on this screen, but I can, I can show you. Here's my other book, one of my other books, The Atonement of God, Building Your Theology on a Crucifixion of God. Play on words there, crucifixion. Let me show you some of the other sponsored products. Here they are, right down here. Okay, so Amazon Pages on a, on a, on a particular product. Um, notice nobody is targeting this book for a product display ad. Down here we have customers who bought this item, also bought. We have two of my other books, plus a book by Greg Boyd, plus a book by Brian Zond. And then here's the also viewed. And down here, though, we have some more sponsored products. All right, so you see down here, all of these are ads, and they are people who are running ads towards this, the keyword, the atonement of God. So they're targeting my book to try to sell their own books. All right, and so those are also sponsored products, which is this type of ad. So when you run this ad, you, it appears in two different places. They're sort of in the product area and also down below, right under the also bots and also viewed section. Okay, so uh, those are the three types of ads you can run. These ones here are the most expensive, headline search ads. But since they're near the top, they are, they get the most visibility. People will see them the most. Uh, in my experience though, they tend not to convert super well either. Uh, so it's sort of one of those things. Do you want visibility? If so, a headline search ad is great. Just expect you're probably not going to get a positive ROI with headline search ads. Product display ads are great. Well, sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not great. So, but, but these two are very similar, sponsored product and product display ads. Anyway, so let me show you. We're going to, I'm not going to show you how to set up each one of these. And I'm probably just going to show you how to set up a sponsored product ad because once you set up one, they're all pretty much the same. I just showed you this, sponsored product um, I'm going to show you how to set up one of those, the headline search, most expensive but most visible, and the product display ads. By the way, if you do set up a product display ad, you need some things. You need a headline, 50 characters max, a brand name, 30 characters max. It could just be your name if you want. Product description, 60 characters max, and a brand logo. All right, 100 by 100 pixels. I wonder if I still have that ad up. Uh, I don't. Anyway, I could have shown you where all that was, uh, but it's not, it's not there. I, I got rid of that. Okay. Nope. Um, I, I will need that here in a second. Three types of AMS ads. All right. So let's set up an ad. Let's set up an ad. I am going to set up an ad for my book, Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. I have several ads for it already, but another one doesn't hurt. That's, uh, by the way, a tactic you can use. Just because you have one ad for a book doesn't mean you can't set up another ad. Why not? And that's one of the things I'm doing to try to scale this book. 
All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Amazon Marketing Services. I am going to choose my campaign type. I want a sponsored product because um, I, I pretty much guarantee that I can get it approved by Amazon. I'm not so sure about the product display and I'm not really ready to spend money on a headline search ad. So we're gonna go with sponsored product. First thing you're gonna want to do obviously is name your campaign. Uh, you probably wanna come up with something that tells you just by looking at it, uh, what you are advertising and maybe how and I don't know some maybe other information as well. So I am going to set up an ad to uh, for, for my book nothing but the blood of Jesus. So I'm just going to call this a blood of Jesus. I think I will uh, be um, running 20 cent bids on these. It might be around 20 cents might be a little bit more might be a little bit less but uh, that's sort of my target bid for my keywords and I'm going to use keywords. Uh, targeting for this. I'm going to target it today. And like I said earlier, I'm going to put a $100 daily budget on that, even though I doubt I am going to run that or spend that much. Now, uh, they, they have you have two types of targeting here, automatic targeting. This uh, allows Amazon to sort of figure out what they think your book is about. And actually, they do a really good job with automatic targeting. You could automatically target, go down, choose your product, and launch your campaign, and you would be done. It's that, that quick and that simple. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do manual targeting in case that is something you like to do. And it often is something I want to do because I know what my book is about. And I know the types of words and phrases and books and authors that people might be putting into the Amazon search bar that will... Uh, you know, help them, those sorts of people, uh, find my book. Okay, so I will be doing manual targeting. Now, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is find your product. So mine is nothing but the blood of Jesus. We'll just put that in here. And we'll search Amazon for that. It's going to find it. This is the target or the product that you want to advertise. So obviously they come up with all these other things that are for sale on Amazon. My book is not in here. We get shirts and music and CDs and all sorts of things. Sometimes this happens. So what you can do is just go find your product on Amazon and either get the ISBN number. Let's, tr let's try that. Uh, if, if you are, are advertising a Kindle book, then you would get the ASIN number. So I'm going to put in the ISBN number here. We'll see what comes up with that. Wow, it can't find it. Well, this is not going well. Let's start off with the ASIN number and try that one. There it is. All right, so I'm going to add that. I really would like to get the paperback version as well. So I'm going to try, let's see here. I'm going to try the 10, ISBN 10 number, see if that works any better. Okay, before I tried the ISBN 13, let's try this ISBN 10, see if that works. And it did. All right, so I'm going to add both of those products. Those are the two books. You can target more than one book. I could, if I wanted to, add in the Atonement of God on this. And it is sort of in a similar theme. Both of these books look at the crucifixion of Jesus and how they change our theology and our view of God and help us understand culture and theology, all sorts of things. So uh, I could, if I wanted to, target or add both of these books, but I'm just going to do this for now. All right, if, if you have, I have a bunch of books on church as well. I could set up an ad that is advertising all of my church books, both Kindle back, or, or Kindle version and paperback. And I think you can, even if you have audiobook versions, add those in. So if I did a ad for my book, The Rejustification of God, which looks at... Uh, the Doctrine of Election, according to Romans 9, 10 to 24. It does have an audiobook version, and I could add that in for an ad as well. Anyway, let's move on, show you what next to do. Okay, so I have the products I'm going to advertise over here, 
And now what you need to do is select your keywords. Now, I told you I was going to do, they gave me a default bid here of 75 cents. That's way too much for me. I'm going to bid 20%. I'm also going to check this little box here that says, if Amazon thinks that I can win a bid uh, by them adding 50% to my eligible ads, then I say, yeah, go ahead. Um, that's up to 30 cents. So uh, I'm fine if, if that's going to help me sell more books. Now, what they do is they suggest some based on people who have bought my books and what they searched for, uh, similar authors. And so they say, you know, you might want to target. So sure, I'll, I'll target Peter Enns. And of course, my names, why not? Uh, Brad Jerzak, absolutely. Greg Boyd, absolutely. It's a book on Christology, yes. And Jesus Saves. Uh, obviously, it's about sacrifice and um, theology. Okay, so they there. These are the sorts of words they would target if I was doing automatic targeting. And you see that as I click add them, they get put down here. All right, and if you want to put in your own, because again, I know what my book is about. Let's just add my other author name there as well. Blood of Jesus. Sure, you can of course enter your own keywords. So along with Brad Jerzak and Greg Boyd, maybe I want to target Brian Zahn because he writes some books in the similar genre. Maybe N.T. Wright. He has a book on the day the revolution began, which is uh, in a similar theme as well. Maybe I would want to put in some keywords. Um, maybe even like Hebrews 9.22. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. I talk about that in my book. We could talk about uh, what is the purpose of the law. Uh, does God want blood sacrifice? See, I'm putting in here things that people might be searching for on Amazon. Purpose of um, sacrificial system. I could even do sacrificial system. Okay. Forgiveness. How can I be forgiven? Why did Jesus die? Okay. You see what's happening here? And then what I would do, again, I'm keeping my 20 cent bid, and I would just add all these keywords. Oh, um... It does not like the colon in there. So I will just take that out, put in a space, and add that. Okay? It says I can add up to 1,000 keywords. So you see right now I'm building my list of keywords now, down here. Now, you can do this all by yourself. And I, it, it takes a while, obviously, obviously to get 1,000. So I only have 20 so far, and you've seen how long that has taken. Let me show you. I told you one of these optional tools was KDP Rocket. And let me show you how quickly I can build a keyword list with KDP Rocket. I'm just going to go to the option here about AMS keyword search. It says type in a keyword. I'm going to type in blood of Jesus. Now I'm going to say go get them Rocket. And it starts building me this wonderful list. You can see the bar down here starts filling up. And uh, then I look how quickly that is. All right. So now I'm just going to click export that. It is going to, we're going to title this Blood of Jesus. And it downloaded. I'm going to have to go find that now. Hold on here while I pull that up. Here it comes. Okay. So it pulls up an Excel spreadsheet here. And you see what it's given me. This is off of the Blood of Jesus. And it has given me 337 keywords. Uh, based on it, it, it is connected. KDP Rocket is connected to Amazon somehow, so it's given me all those keywords plus a bunch of author names. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these author names. I want to use them as well. I'm going to cut them out. Control X, and I am going to paste them down here on the bottom. Okay, so now they're all in there. I have all these spaces which I don't need. I'm going to target that. I am going to um, sort this. I'm going to sort them A to Z. All right. 
So now that got rid of all, that should have gotten rid of all the spaces. You see, it did. No more spaces. Now the other thing I want to do is there were some... I might go through here. Some of these I don't want, like of charge. What is that? I don't want that. That one's gone. So I might just go through allies. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to take alive. Uh, who's searching Amazon for the word alive? They're probably trying to get that movie alive. I don't, I don't know why that came up. I might spend a few minutes. Look, I got these three blood of Jesus. I don't need all three, but I'll show you in a minute how to take those out. All right, so we could go through here and look for other words and phrases that I think I really don't want. Okay, but I'm honestly going to leave them. I don't really care too much. All right, so here's how to get rid of the duplicates. First, let's get rid of that uh, top line again. Okay, now I still have the whole column. I am going to go to the data and look at this option right here. Remove duplicates. Yes. Found 67 duplicates. And look, it has 600 unique values remain. Remember, I can have up to 1,000. So I only have 600 plus the 20 I put in myself. What I could do is just go back to KDP Rocket. We're going to do another keyword search, and we are going to say, why did Jesus die? You know, or something. Go get him, Rocket. And it's going to compile another list here. It's pulling all the data from... Amazon, looks like it's done. Did, why did Jesus die? Okay. And did it save it? Hold on, I'm getting it off of my, uh, there it is. Okay. So. It pulled out ah, only 200 this time. I might be able to, what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing. Take all these authors, pull them out. Okay, put them back down here because I want to target various authors as well. I am now going to alphabetize these and remove the duplicates. 337 remain. Okay. Let's get those. 337. Uh, I don't need to save it. Yes, I need it though. Okay. And come back down here, paste them on the bottom. Let's see how many I have now. Look at this. 971. That works for me. Gonna copy them all. Bring them back over to here. Okay, and I can paste them right in here. I'm gonna enter my keywords. Bam. And I'm gonna leave my match type as broad. My bid is still 20 cents. And let's add these keywords. It's working on it. Right here, spinning, adding, thinking, working on them. Now, I could, if I don't want, you know, don't show ads if this shows up, then you can use the negative keywords there, okay? And, um, and up to a 1,000 of those. I have not used those, but I have been seeing my ad show up sometimes where I don't want it to. So, for example, in finding my book, The Atonement of God, I put in The Atonement of God. And notice, The Atonement of God, when you search for that, it comes up number one in the search results. But I am also, apparently, have an ad running for The Atonement of God, so I'm getting the first two results. Which is fine. I don't mind that too much. If someone is searching for The Atonement of God, they click on my ad and, my buy, and buy. It's, it's nice to have the top two. That's okay. And, um, but I could, if I would wanted to get rid of this ad, maybe with a negative keyword. But I'm not going to mess it up. I'm going to leave it. Anyway, let's go back up. Let's see how many keywords we have. 850. Fine with me. I'm going to keep that. I don't care about getting right up to 1,000. It's okay. That's it. Now, the ad is done. Okay? I, I, I selected my products, entered my keywords. 
set my bid, and now I'm going to launch my campaign. All right, and that's it. Your campaign launched successfully. And it says your campaign can take up to one hour to process before it is eligible to receive impressions. Um, that's really fast. I, although I have seen it often as quick as, you know, five minutes or less, sometimes 30 seconds. There have been a few times where my ad takes up to 48 hours to get approved. I'm not sure why that happens. And also, it can sometimes take five to seven days to start getting impressions. So if you do this and you set up some ads and it takes a day or two to get approved, don't worry about it. Just be patient. And then even once it's approved, if you're not getting impressions for three or four or five days, don't worry about it. Just be patient. And sometimes it starts to take a while to get impressions. And then if you start to get impressions and you're not seeing any sales, don't worry about that either. Sometimes it can take uh, five to seven days before your sales start getting recorded in the Amazon uh, computers, however it works, okay? So anyway, be patient, uh, let it run. I would say wait a week before it's, you know, if, if it's not running, wait a week to get it going and then wait a week before uh, you shut it down because you think it isn't working. All right, and after that, if you if you still don't if you still want to shut it down, go ahead if you feel like it's not getting you the return on your investment that you would like. That's how to set up your ads. Pretty simple, and uh, the process is is quite quick, and you can you can run a lot of ads, get a, publish a lot of ads quite quickly doing this process that I have shown you. Especially if you use that KDP Rocket tool, which I have talked about so far in this tutorial. Now, I understand that some authors, maybe you are one of these, do not want to mess with all of this, deal with all of this. You just want to write and publish your books. I get that. I'm kind of the, kind of the same way, but I just don't have an option. I'm living on a shoestring here, and so I do all the work myself. But I am happy to help set up, monitor, and run your ads for you if you want to hire me to do that for you, okay? Here's what it's going to be. There's going to be a $50 one-time setup fee per ad set. I'm going to give you two ads for that, okay? So you can choose a headline search ad and a sponsored product ad. Uh, you, I would be willing to try a product display ad, especially if you have non-religious books, if you're writing fiction, something like that. Product display ads will work great for you. I'd be happy to help you set that up. You will need to provide the images and the ad copy. Remember, I talked about that just a bit ago, right down here. If you are going to ch want me to set up a product display ads, you need to provide these things for me, okay? I don't want to have to try to come up with that myself. Uh, so I would choose two. You can do a product, a headline search, a product display, or a sponsored product ad. Choose two. If you want two sponsored product ads, that's fine. I will find the keywords. Um, I will use KDP Rocket to find 500 of those for you. It doesn't take very long. So anyway, I, I'm willing, and this saves you money. That way you don't have to deal with this and you don't have to buy KDP Rocket, that sort of thing. And uh, so I'm happy to. So one time setup fee, $50 to run these ads. Now, obviously there's going to be ongoing fees related to running the ads. So um, you will need to pay me for those in advance. And there is a $100 minimum on this, okay? I, I can't make it, I, it's not worth my time if you only want to run $10 of ads. Uh, but again, I'm spending $500 a month and I had, what did I have? Something like 50 ads or something. So $100 is going to last you quite a while, maybe even several months. It depends on how effective your ad is. But there is a $100 minimum on this. And I will charge, I'm going to charge just, again, make it worth my time um, of, of sending you reports and updates and that sort of a thing. 10% commission on that. Okay, so you spend $100 uh, with me and I will give you $90 in ad spends. Now, initially... Uh, the $100, you can go to, for the $50 setup up here, and then $45 ad spend. So that's the 10% off of the ads there, okay? If you get $50 towards your ads, I take 10% off of that, which is five bucks, and it gives you $45 in ad spend. So I'm willing to do that for you if you just want to hire me to run all this for you. I do need all those fees paid in advance. I don't want to go chasing money. If I spend $50 in ads for you, I don't want to have to come after you to try to get you to pay me the $50, okay? I need that money before the ads start running. 
And if you want to keep them going, I'll let you know when your balance is running low and then you can re-up. You can send me another $100 for another $90 in ad spend. Okay? And so that you know they are effective or not, if you want to continue or not, I will send you monthly AMS sales reports. Okay? Those are those difficult to read. I, I apologize about that. Um, the difficult to read uh, Excel uh, spreadsheets, but uh, they will be monthly. So you will be able to see month to month how you did in the last month. You'll see the ACOS score, you know, average cost of sale and how much you have spent and how much estimated sales Amazon is reporting. Let me just go pull one of those up so you can see what you will get for that. So what I will do every month is I will, at the end of the month, I will run this report. For the last month and it will download like this and this is what i will be sending to you but for your books you won't see anybody else's just yours okay so it will show you i will i will make sure only yours gets sent to you it will show you the campaign name so there you know if you gave me two ads if you're running two ads for fifty dollars there'll only be two items in here it will show you the type uh what type of ad it is when it was started the budget we set for that okay then this the the report date which is um, what, you know, report end, report start, which is for the month. Okay, then here's what will be important for you. You'll see the impressions that you received that month. You will see how many clicks. You will see how much you've spent. You will see the average cost per click, how much you're getting per click, all right? And, uh, and then how much you have sold, okay? and the ACOS. Now, I told you that 70% or better is what works for me because I'm using Kindle Direct Publishing. If you are going with a traditional publisher, then I don't know what they're paying you. If they're paying you 20% royalty, then this actually for you will need to be less than 20%. Uh, again, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you need to figure that out. Remember also that you'll be paying me 10% commission, so that sort of also reduces um, the prospects here, but you just look at this in the last month. I have an ad here that is 1.8%, 13%, 7%, uh, 15%. A lot of them are right around the 20% mark. Okay. So even if your publisher is paying you, you know, $2 or whatever per book, and you're paying me a 10% commission, some of these can still be quite effective. Aside from the fact that you're getting all of these impressions, just look in this last month, how many total impressions I received on this. Look at that. In one month, 1.3 million impressions for my books. Okay. Where else are you going to get that? 1.3 million people have set eyeballs on my book cover. So even the, the, the money I'm making off the book sales is sort of even gravy on that. Lots of people pay mega bucks in advertising just to get their name, their book covers, their awareness out there in front of other people to raise awareness about themselves as an author. All right, so this is what I would send you every month. And again, it wouldn't have this many. It'd only have two, maybe four, maybe six, depending on how many ads you wanted me to set up for you. All right. And uh, so that's what I would do. So if you want this to, if you if you'd like me to do this for you, uh, just contact me, Jeremy, at ams at redeeminggod.com. All right, just uh, introduce yourself, and um, maybe you would want to probably provide the book titles you want me to advertise. If you have more than one book, I'm happy to do that. Uh, give me the website link to the titles. I want to go look at them. A uh, brief summary of your book, so I know what sort of keywords to search for on KDP Rocket. And then the two types of ads you want to run. Again, if you want to run four ads or six ads or eight ads, that's fine. $50 for each set of two. Just let me know which ads you want to run. And then also uh, the amount of your initial budget, how much you want to start with. And the, again, the minimum is $100. And if you're just starting off, the minimum is going to give you two ads and $45 in ads spend. Okay, so that's that. Just uh, contact me at ams.redeeminggod.com. And uh, we can get started. Okay, thank you for uh, watching this, this video. Hopefully it's not too overwhelming. And again, reach out to me. You can reach out to me on Facebook at uh, Jeremy Myers 
author, something like that on Facebook, uh, through my website at redeeminggod.com, or even through this email if you have any questions about this process. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Good luck selling and writing your books. Talk to you later. Bye.